We have a good amount of legendary 140 RPM hand cannons to choose from. Kinetic or energy, there's 17 of them. Some are sunset, some are not. We have a couple returning ones this season. They're getting up to speed as far as being non-sunset. Judgment and annual skate. Today's video is about the annual skate. It's a world drop. And the goal here is to try to find just something that it offers. What does it bring to the table? Why would I use it over a palindrome, if at all, if ever, a fate bringer? Why should you go for it? And when it does drop, what should you be looking for? There are things like base stats, perk combinations, ranges, and more I'm going to go over, but one of the things that can't not be mentioned is the fact that it's a Soros hand cannon. We don't see too many of these. And to me at least, they're always pretty smooth. Very sleek weapon model, they sound cool. The barrel slopes down, so it's very easy to see your target when it's in full recoil, and it's very easy to see your target when you're getting flinched. I've always liked them. As far as the base stats, it's barely above average in a couple stats, and that's good. All others are in the midline. There's not really a single bad thing about it. It's got a great aim assist of 75. The recoil direction's at 88. Some of you might not like that. It goes to the left slightly. The range band at base with no range perks added is 28 meters. But here's the thing about annual skate. With max range perks, sure shot, accurized rounds with a range masterwork, it gets to only 31.6 meters. So the range band, 28 to 31.6. I recommend that you do not use things like Sure Shot or Crossfire when they're there. Sure Shot adds plus 9 range, but negative 9 handling, negative 9 stability, but plus 5 aim assist. Crossfire is plus 6 range, negative 5 handling, negative 5 stability, plus 5 aim assist. You aren't outranging anything with Annual Skate. Other 140s do that better. Way better. Range is always going to be a good thing to add, but not at the cost of just big penalties like the negative 9 handling or stability. Those are key stats on it. Instead, you should be building into those for this particular one. So for the barrel, the other four work really well. Hit mark is plus five range, plus five aim assist. Pretty simple. True sight, plus three range, handling and stability, plus five aim assist. Steady hand, plus nine handling and stability, plus five aim assist. And then fast draw, plus 13 handling, plus four stability, five aim assist. Way better options than sure shot or crossfire. Again, for annual skate. Now for the magazine, accurized rounds and steady rounds. If you do want a PVE roll, and this does have some nice PVE options, the pure mag like a pennant mag or tack mag. For the perks, first column, outlaw, surplus, triple tap, slide shot, tunnel vision, no distractions. Second column, opening shot, timed payload, dragonfly, multi-kill clip, wellspring, and swashbuckler. Couple things here that you need to know and pay attention to. Annual skate is the only 140 in the game that can roll wellspring. And to me, that's worth a pickup. It's solar, it's a 140, getting the ability energy with kills. There's lots of like, PvE or PvP. I don't have it, but I'm searching for one to drop. And the best pairing is surplus with wellspring. Secondly, timed payload is somewhat of a rare perk. You don't really see it too often. I'll talk about it more in depth in a moment, but it's only on five legendary hand cannons. Two 140s have it, annual skate and judgment, again, coming this season. It's a good perk, it has some uses, and third, no distractions, it's worth talking about real quick. Only three hand cannons have it, the Finite Impactor, Annual Skate, and Loud Lullaby. I'm kinda iffy on no distractions, I like it on snipers, I like it on scouts. The range for this hand cannon, enemies are a little close, and kinda get you into trouble. PvE, if you wanna fight flinch, sure, it can work well. I know some players that love no distractions with the Finite Impactor, and it's pretty good on Loud Lullaby, but then again, some hate it. If it drops, you're gonna have to use it, take it for a spin. See how it plays for you, because remember with no distractions, it activates one second after aiming down sights, and your flinch is reduced by 35%, and that stacks with the unflinching mods. It's not a bad perk, but for me, just a little iffy on a 140. For PvE rolls to be looking for, the one that sticks out is Wellspring. Surplus first, but of course Outlaw can work, but also Triple Tap. And I say this because it doesn't have subsistence. You can get crits on ads and just triple tap out the mag to keep extending it on a wellspring streak and not have to reload. Next, Outlaw Dragonfly. It's tried and true. It's a fun PvE combo. Tunnel Vision Multi-Kill Clip. You kill three ads, reload. You get plus 20 aim assist, plus 20 accuracy, and then 50% more damage. And a sleeper pick, it's not a flashy pick, it's going to be time to payload for PvE. And the only reason I say this, and some of you might not know, because it doesn't really roll too often, the bullet splits. Regular bullet damage and then the explosive damage. Now the explosive part of that bullet has no fall off. So in PvE, especially when something like overload or barrier comes up, it could be good. Because in PvE, timed payload has a 12% increase to precision damage and a 16% increase to body damage. In comparison, Frenzy's at 15%. Rampage times 1 is 10%, Swashbuckler times 2 is 13%. Timed Payload is just a little bit of extra damage, unlimited ammo. You can use it at a distance because that explosion has no fall off, that timed payload. Now, explosive payload is 11% and 15% for the body. Timed payload is 12% and 16% for the body. It's interesting. 
It's one of those things that can be used in PvE and PvP. Then you can also do a swashbuckler build for melees. But for the Crucible, tried and true, tunnel vision multi-kill clip is always good. Something like no distractions to opening shot, slide shot opening shot, or surplus with opening shot, it's going to work well. But the one I wanted to try and the one that you've been seeing all video is timed payload. Mine has slide shot, would have wanted surplus, but that's okay. The full roll is also steady hand with accurized. So with just accurized and I have timed payload, I can get a 32 and a half meter three tap. That's not crazy, but it is a little bit further. And note here, these have a 0.87 time to kill in the crucible. In timed payload, there is a delay, so it's going to be a 0.93 TTK. It has that small delay after you shoot. It's right there. And most weapon TTKs in the game, they're about 0.7 to 1 second, and 0.8 is right there in the middle. Some are a little faster, some are a little slower. But that timed payload, it does a couple things. Number one, it's a double flinch. It knocks your opponent around. Even though your TTK is a little bit longer, you're making it difficult on them. And number two, since the damage is split, five resilience and lower, you can follow up a high impact sniper body shot with a timed payload body shot at any distance. A regular 140 can't do that. Sunshot can't do that. So if you run something like Body of the Fox, something like that, it can work well. Number three, it can get you splash damage kills. They are there if you remember and look for them. I was playing on Endless Veil vale, and each side has a pillar. I had an enemy weak, they went behind cover behind that pillar and I was just getting that splash damage on the floor. And I moved on, got through the middle of the map right there on the zone, had a gunfight, and then there was another enemy at the second pillar. I got them weak, they got behind it and guess what, same thing. I was able to shoot the floor and get the cleanup. It also stops recovery if you get those tags. It's niche, sure, but it works. And number four, that splash damage is massive. It's not just the floor, it's all around your enemy, the roof, the wall, everywhere around them. Overall here, there are a couple gems with annual skate. I do believe pound for pound, it goes to surplus wellspring. If you don't get surplus, just something that pairs with wellspring. It's the only 140 to have it. It's no palindrome, palindrome is king. And what annual skate is, to me at least, it's a weapon that needs to be built into or played to. Outlaw Dragonfly PvE, Time Payload. A lot of these combinations are just a little bit different than what you use normally, or what you would normally do. It has good base stats, good aim assist, the recoil is kind of off, again some of you aren't going to like that. But in the end, I truly believe that this is one that you need to get your hands on if something rolls to you that's interesting. Try it out. That goes for the Crucible and PvE. I'm still searching for the Wellspring roll. I'm going to use that, and it also goes with exotics that need solar or match solar. Surplus Wellspring, I think, is the chase on this one. I want to know what you think. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And if you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about annual skate down below in the comment section, and also I want to know, does it have a spot in your loadout with any of the roles that it has? If you were to get it, would you use it? Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.